Welcome everybody to my review of my recently purchased Android Mini PC. This is a, a CX919 and uh, there's the PC itself. Very small, incredibly small in size really when you think about it. Um, it just fits right in the palm of my hand here and really um, for the power that it has in it uh, you're talking about um, a rock chip that's just really uh, really good and powerful. This one comes with, in particular, uh, the 2 gigs of RAM along with the uh, 8 gig drive. So. And in addition to the mini PC itself, it comes with the adapter here, uh, USB that leads to power, uh, as well as the charger here, the, this one, the North American charger, as I'm in Canada. so. Uh, this works nicely and finally it has the extension for HDMI uh, on this side and uh, there's the HDMI plug itself goes into the television so without further ado let's fire this bad boy up and uh, give it a look and see how it performs on my television alright now that we've got the device started I'll quickly just mention to you that uh, I actually have plugged it into the power source, uh, this, the USB source in the television and not the DC power that I showed you. And there's one main reason for that. Th that is, the one downfall that I find with this device with the general operation is it's not easy. You cannot start it up remotely. You can't just pick up the remote turn it on. It doesn't work that way. Uh, I find the only way has to be power basically that turns it on. So when you power it off, when you turn it off, you have to turn the power back on. So if it's plugged into that DC, still it, it requires you to, I find, unplug and plug back in to initiate the device. If someone has another way, I'd be you know, happy to hear it, but that's the only way I've found to be able to turn it on. As a result, if I plug it into the television, oh, well, it's easy. If I turn my TV on and give it power, I'm giving the device power and turning it on at the same time. So it's a nice, convenient feature of it. Um, I plug it in. Now, I know some users have had problems and have said that it's underpowered. They can't get enough from the TV, so they get partial. Uh, it, get, it works partially, but you know, can't load everything properly. I have not encountered that myself yet, fortunately. Uh, it seems like it works exactly the same. I've tried both, and uh, happy to say, so far for me, it works the same, which is nice. Now, uh, the one thing that I, I can say so far is that um, when I do a speed test on it, uh, and I can show you right now, uh, first off, it, the Wi Fi setup was a breeze. Really easy, really nice. I'm happy to report, so that was no problem. Um, it, however, uh, and again, I could, while I can pick up a lot of different Wi-Fi signals and, and hook, up, hook it up just fine, um, it, it depended on, especially where I'm actually trying to do the speed test from, it can seem super, super slow at times, which uh, is strange. So uh, I actually have found that it can be an issue. It may be part of the reason why when I try and watch video, which is one of the main reasons I got this device, it's just not coming um, in very quickly and it'll stutter and have issues at times. So again, while the Wi-Fi is picking up, it definitely is registering well. Uh, it definitely works every time I've tried to use it. Uh, there can be some strange, strange things happening with um, with the actual speed that I'm getting sometimes. And maybe that's just the server I'm testing on this time why it's that slow. Well, I've never seen it that slow before. But I can get probably a maximum of 3 MB per second here, whereas in reality I know I should be able to get up to 6.5, and I'll, I'll get 6.5 with my iPhone in this example when I do a speed test. So let's first check out, uh, again, one of the main reasons I got this, and, and maybe uh, there's others out there who would be acquiring these devices for the same reason, and that's as a, a home theater PC. It's really just to sh watch some video, watch some programming. I don't have cable. I decided to cancel it a while back because of paying a bunch of money for a bunch of things I never hardly ever watched but occasionally I like to get a program here and there and be able to watch it so uh, fortunately I can, I can use apps on Android which um, eliminate some of the issues you have with browsers at times watching some of these flash programs now um, I was able to easily find this app here for one of the major Canadian TV networks and I'm in Canada so um, I can't really watch the American ones I'll be blocked out from those if I unless I use a VPN or something. Uh, however, um, you know we usually get all the same types of programs here, and I'll just, for example, show some of this one if it if it'll load up for me. We'll see if it works. But um, uh, so here's the an ad playing right now. It loads these up seemingly without any kind of problem, and um, 
the ads always seem to work, but if, uh, if there is any hiccups, usually it is with the programming itself. So, uh, But as you can see, the quality is actually quite good of the, the video showing. So here's the pro main program now. And it's working really nicely. No issues loading it and playing it to this point. Um, there will be some issues I find still, even though it's an app that's been built specifically f to play these videos. I still find there are issues sometimes. It's not playing at super high definition right now. For one, um, sometimes the quality will improve, it'll go down, it'll skip some here and there. So, not perfect, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping for a bit better there in that quality, but you take what you can get. Um, hopefully it gets better, maybe they provide some updates. Uh, so anyways, it's it, it's probably a function, to, to be honest, of the flash. I don't know expert, I think it's, a, it's one of these tricky areas, so whenever you're dealing with video, it's tough. Uh, but it does work, and... Uh, I'll show you another quick example, just just here um, over at Netflix. Just no issues so far from what I found in the ability for Netflix to play. Uh, really smooth. Just a really nice performance out of Netflix so far, as as you'd hope for. Whenever you have a Netflix app, to me, and any of the devices I've used it on, be it uh, from my iPhone to PlayStation 3 to uh, Boxy Box. It's always worked quite well, and um, while it may take some time to get from a kind of a grainier image up to a fuller image, uh, it'll eventually get to a higher definition and and play at the fullest HD that you have it set up for. And here, I only have it at 720p, but um, uh, there is a 1080p choice um, on the this Android Mini PC, so I could, I guess, in theory, take it up to that level. Though I've heard that that's uh, not a true. 1080p. It's actually kind of a forced 1080p because the kernel itself only goes to uh, 720. Now, quickly, I'll jump back again just show you. I want to show you the browsing capability quickly. Here we go. Chrome, I have my Yahoo opened up here. It, it's a nice feature to uh, be able to use. And I should show you what I'm browsing with right now. Uh, this is the, a, um, it's hard to see because it's all darkened here right now, but um, there we go. It's a Meezy RC12 remote. It's a keyboard slash trackpad mouse slash controller with a up, down, left, right there and the two mouse buttons below. It has some quick uh, buttons on it at the top there. Hard to see right now, but uh, they're there. Including the power off button. Uh, also allow me to get to music uh, that I have in, in the device so easily and a couple other functions as well including volume control. So it works beautifully for something like this. It was plug and play. I'll have another video just looking at that, actually, if you're curious. So look for that video on the Mezi RZ12. But uh, here, yeah, I mean, controlling into the browser here, I use the right part of the trackpad to do a little scroll up and down the page. I can easily just sort of see um, here, just click on one of the links, load up one of the stories that I've got, load it up in the, one of the RSS feeds here. Works quite well. Uh, loads up quickly from what I can tell, uh, for the most part. I mean, it's not as quick, maybe, as a top-tier, full-fledged desktop PC, but pretty good. I mean, this is, I feel like it's one of the strengths of this kind of device, is just loading web pages is beautifully quickly uh, doing that. So This is going to be a bit more hit and miss, I find, when you're loading up a piece of video content. It's just not quite as good. It's not quite as consistently solid. Um, the ads tend to load a lot more easily and a lot... Uh, more consistently than the content itself, but you know, so be it. Um, again, hopefully, hopefully it gets a little better, but I'm not confident in that part because I know Flash has only been supported up to a certain point with these devices, so it kind of is what it is right now. And I'm okay with that, uh, especially since I can get this content or I can get a lot of content elsewhere and on other devices like, like here, so I'll, I'll get what I can out of it and see. I'm still trialing it a bit, to be honest with you, I haven't had a chance to fully explore it, but, uh, you know, again, it's a little choppy sometimes, sometimes that might just have to do with the strength of my signal, but so be it, I can I can get some things played. It usually, usually come gradually, it'll usually work at some point. Again, low res perhaps, or at least until it spools up a bit, speeds up, uh, picks up, uh, bit more quality, but yeah, so it, it's trying to get to HD quality, but uh, I'm not worrying too much about that right now. 
Anywho, uh, if I go back, and that's it. YouTube. As you can tell, I'm really using this as a home PC. Um, these load up just beautifully. I uh, haven't had any problems with anything here. Um, Gordon Ramsay, sure, why not? Let's quickly watch a little bit of him. But yeah, it's uh, works nicely. Uh, you know, it will respond as you expect it to, it's similar to how other videos will load. With, you know, there'll be a little stutter maybe at the top, but actually it's quite smooth. I have no problems with YouTube here. And uh, it, there you go. So, yeah, very pleased with that. And uh, actually, you know, bonus feature. I'll show you. The Songza app here. I like Songza. Works here in Canada. Uh, better than and Pandora does not work here yet for whatever reason, but this one does. Um, you can play a little music here. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's let's kick it up a notch. And it'll work. You know, it'll, it'll remember your settings. You can log in easily, especially with when you have a remote like this. Log in. It'll play. Um, just as you'd expect on other devices and stuff. It's nice. It's it's nice if you have some people over. You want to put some background music on or what have you, uh, or just chill out, listen to some music. Works nicely here, and uh, yeah, I'm very very pleased overall with the performance. And actually, this uh, is one of the few that will uh, minimize into the bottom right corner if you want to. If you have it playing, it'll actually minimize and continue playing while you browse. So you can listen to music as you browse, which is nice. All right, that's my uh, wrap on. The um, the CX919, uh, this Android mini PC that I recently acquired, uh, works very much like a tablet, um, has good capabilities with regards to apps, allows me to access a lot of the content I, I would like to access here in Canada from a video perspective, as well as some of the traditional apps that you'd hope to have, like YouTube. Uh, Netflix, as well as uh, your browsers and your, your web content. So I haven't even gotten into a lot of the other things that this can do as a typical tablet can do, including email, including uh, reading. Not that I plan to read a lot on my, my television set, but uh, as far as books go at least. But, uh, uh, you know, music it can handle, it can handle all kinds of functions. So it's a very cool thing to actually have the power of a tablet on my television and at my fingertips. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to enter them in the comments below. I'll try and get to them when I have a chance. But uh, otherwise, again, feel free to check out my other video coming up on the uh, Mizi RC12 RC um, remote, which is also uh, very cool. Thanks very much.